may remember Ron Howard. He used to be yeah. an actor. <laughs> yeah. He became famous playing Opie Taylor on The Andy Griffin Show. Then Richie Cunningham on Happy Days before he moved behind the camera. The Oscar-winning director's new project is a documentary released by CBS Films, the untold story of legendary tenor Luciano Pavarotti. In this clip from Pavarotti, his fellow opera star Placidio Domingo tells us what it's like singing with him. At the moment of being on the stage, there was the competition. It was okay, like anything you do, I can do better. And Ron Howard joins us at the table. Ron, good morning. You've done, uh, by my count, three documentaries now about musicians and music. Yes. Uh, you don't sing, though, do you? <laughs> oh, no, not, not so you'd want to hear it. <laughs> In the shower. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what attracted uh, you to this one? Uh, characters. It's, it's always about the characters. You know, the first one was Jay-Z and, and, and uh, uh, this festival that he was curating, and it was a fascinating collection of, of characters, uh, and uh, I found the story inspiring. Beatles, eight days a week. This is the same creative team that worked on that documentary, which I directed. Well, that was about this collective, this, this sort of band of brothers going on this adventure. And here's this unbelievably charismatic individual. This is the story of a whole life. Wow. He's funny. He's a genius. Um, and his, his life is an opera to yeah, Iran. Yeah, yes. The more I watched this movie, I thought this could be just an opera in itself. And the film is structured like an opera. Well, I, yeah. I, we, when I started actually pursuing it, I think what, what really um, convinced me that I wanted to make it as a movie, I wanted to create a theatrical experience, it's actually combining his charisma and personality and the power of those close-ups. I mean, yes. I'm a director. Yes. I'm watching him singing these arias, and I'm saying, this is like this is like Brando, you yes. know, uh, yeah. deliver, and it, it, this is unbelievable. Then I went and read the lyrics to those arias, those songs, and I felt like, wait a minute, this he's telling his story. Yeah. He's singing. And you weren't an opera life. fan going in, were you? No, though? no, not particularly. Always admired it, respected it, but I mean, it's not, again, the music's a great opportunity, though, yes. for, for people who do love it or are just discovering it, and we made sure the sound is great. The sound is amazing. amazing. But one thing that really struck me about this is, this is, it's an epic life, and you got both his, his wife and his lovers to yeah. speak to you. Well, How difficult was that? Well, I think that says something about about Luciano. I mean, you know, he 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 was incredibly romantic, and and so that's not a euphemism for being a player. I mean, <laughs> yeah. he, he had these deep loves, yeah. Yeah. and and he loved life, and everybody around him, whether they had a romantic connection, whether they were family, whether they were colleagues, um, they. It's in all, you can just tell in all the interviews. Despite the hurt, they still felt the love. Despite, they, absolutely. And At and the end all, of his life, they still, the, the fact that you had his ex-wife, yes. that's what struck me too. And his current wife and a couple of ex-lovers talking about it, I was blown away by that. But what I was also blown away by him as a person. He said, I'm basically never happy. Right. I'm always searching for something. What was it about him in particular that stood out to you? I was very touched by this man. Well, he, his story is very emotional. Yeah. And, um, and of course, that always appeals to me, to you. Uh, yeah. I, you know, in a character story. Yeah. Um, you know, Brian Grazer and I had imagined have done a lot of movies based on real events. Sure. And, and so it's been interesting to move into the documentary world, but his, he is so charismatic, mm -hmm. and yet he has those insecurities, yeah. he has those vulnerabilities. So, yes, he's a genius. What he does is unbelievable. It's almost athletic. It's like a yeah. feat. Yeah, the breathing. I was going to say it really is like a, a, yeah. an but, athlete. But he's relatable. Yeah. So this is this really powerful combination, and I think that's one of the things that makes the story. He was sick as a most, kid. Yeah. And that really affected his outlook on life. That's what he said. That he had a near death experience as a as a as a child, which we go into in 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 the documentary. And by the way, he. He tells a lot of the, his own story. We we're able to find so many great interviews. Yeah, the yeah. Including the footage is amazing from his family. Yeah. yeah, who shared this this you know where he's where he's very it's raw and it's vulnerable and it's and it's real. So we felt like this is a chance to tell a complete story. It doesn't matter whether you know anything about him or opera. Yeah. Uh, and yet use that music to help build the emotion. And 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 also the other thing that he cared about was bringing. Uh, democratizing opera. And I thought, well, using his story mm -hmm. and opera to make a movie 
is is uh, hopefully extending that agenda. And You've got to really see it on a big screen to fully appreciate it. I think with I was the applauding big by, yeah with the big speakers. Thank you. I know your Opie days are, are over. But people in the studio yesterday who shall remain nameless, John, were singing the theme song. Where does Opie sit with you today? John? Do you ever think about him? I, I well I, he he comes up almost every day. I know I know I couldn't uh, help it. I couldn't my, help it. And my wife Cheryl has taken to watching the show uh, again. I know. Uh, and I, I bump into people. It's never been off the air since 1960. That's wow. And it's re because wow. I've been able to to accomplish my dreams of, of really yeah. of being a director, of being a storyteller, work collaborating with so many amazing We're people at such a high level. You know, that's that's a part of my life that I really cherish. Yeah, good. when people bring it up now, it just makes me smile. It's there was okay. a time yeah. when I felt like don't you know <laughs> yes. don't you wanted to leave it behind. Me. Bet, yeah? Yes. Yeah. But I but I I think I've been able to kind of uh, out outgrow that and just yeah. appreciate, appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. It was wonderful watching you. It yeah. still is, Ron well, Howard. Thank you. Thank it's you. great to have you at the table. I love, love, love Pavarotti and you. Our best to Cheryl. Thanks thank a you. lot.